This is a brief tutorial for how to set up an FTP account uh, in Reclaim Hosting so that you are able to upload and download files to and from the server. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol and you use these applications to move files between servers. Um, so uh, to do this we are log into our Reclaim Hosting. I apologize for my coughing. That will undoubtedly happen through this, but um, I need to get this done tonight and I just cannot shake this cough whatsoever. Okay, so once you're logged in, go to your control panel. And then uh, in the control panel area, you're going to find a, under files, you're going to find a, a, heading, a, a, a link for FTP accounts. Click on that. And that will bring you to uh, this page. And here you are going to be creating the account that you will use in order to connect to your portion of the Reclaim hosting servers. Okay. You should see your domain right in here. Okay. Uh, so I've already created one called Bill Wolf. You should create one for something that is going to be meaningful for you. Um, I'm just going to create one right now as a sample. Say Bill Wolf 2. And the password. And the password again. Okay. And. Um, I want to have access to the main directory, like that. Um, and then I just click Create Account. Okay. So make sure you do delete everything that is here because you want to have access to the entire thing. Um, so click, click Create Account. And the account is created. And that's very exciting. And you'll see that right over here. Uh, and then you're going to click on uh, configure FTP client. Okay. Now, um, these are the key ID, uh, login information that you're going to need in order to uh, log into your FTP. Um, log into your account using FTP. But before we actually go and do that, I want to add something to you. Recognize the screen from a video that you just watched. I want to add uh, another best practice to our list, and that is write down, oops, I'm in orange, write down or record somewhere you'll be able to find passwords. Okay. This is part of being uh, organized in this class. Uh, we are going to have several passwords uh, that we're going to need to remember this semester. We're going to have our Reclaim Hosting password, if you ever need to get back into your cPanel. And we also are going to have your password for your FTP access. Okay, So please find a place where you can write them down. We'll be able to find them uh, in the future. It will save a lot of headaches. Uh, believe me, as you're, as you're going through uh, your work. Okay, so where were we? We were here, no, that's brackets. We were over here uh, in our FTP accounts, and we were about to go and try to log into uh, our server uh, for the first time using uh, FileZilla. Okay, so I've already opened up FileZilla, and I want you to notice another thing before we do the login, is that uh, FileZilla, the structure and the of the application looks just like the little diagram that I drew uh, in our prior video that we just watched. Uh, this side of the FTP is your computer. The right side of the FTP is the server. Okay. We are not seeing anything over here yet because we are not connected to the server and it tells us that. And what we are going to do is we have to put in our login information in here and then connect and then see what happens. 
And that login information is what we just created or using uh, in our reclaim hosting dashboard. So the server, the FTP server, this is also known as the host. Okay. The host, as we talked about before, is the space that is hosting your URL and all your files, just like the apartment building hosts your you and your furniture and all your stuff uh, when you live there. So we need to know the server address. We need to know the username. And this whole thing is your username. And we need to know the password, and which you hopefully have written down or you have remembered and then write it down uh, later on. So I am going to go into here and I'm going to type these in. I recommend that you type them in. Okay. Sometimes when you copy from a browser into a space like this, some information behind the scenes gets taken, gets uh, goes along with it, and that's not that's not great. And then it won't actually work. So Bill Wolf S J dot com. Password. You shouldn't have to put in the port, but if you feel like it, you can. And then you click on Quick Connect. And you are going to get a screen like this. I recommend just clicking with Trust. And if it works and everything is successful, you are going to see all this stuff now show up on this right side. Again, the right side is the server side. This is the server, right? The server is over on this side. It mirrors what is on the Reclaim hosting servers. And so what we have just done is my computer is now directly connected to the Reclaim hosting servers. And you can see that I also have created this web design folder um, for things related to web design, which I'm going to ask you to do as well, which, I'm, which I've asked you to do as well. And if I look through this side, I will see a public uh, HTML folder as well. And I can click on that. Now, I have a lot of stuff in here uh, because of I've used it quite a bit. I've been using this space for quite some time. You should not have much of anything in here at all. You'll have a couple of default files, which you just leave alone, and and that's that's perfectly okay. All right. If you have done some work in, in your Reclaim hosting space in the past, then you might have some things in here. You might not even realize it. If you've just cloned your web page and moved it to a blog directory, uh, you will see a folder for that like I have right here. One key idea that's important to understand is that folders on servers are called directories. Okay, and I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to add that. Folders are called directories when they are on servers. Okay. And we can use those terms interchangeably, folder or directory. Okay. So if I refer to a folder uh, on your server as a directory, you know that I'm referring to the same, to the same thing. Okay. Right. So each one of these are little directories. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going, we're going to go and take a look at the brackets and to see what happens when I actually do this process of coding, uploading, and refreshing on my page. I'm just going to press pause for a second. I'm here. In brackets, I've just opened it up, and I'm seeing this. Okay. Um, I want you to look at this file and it's just information about brackets. It's a default file that they, the creators of brackets, put here for you. A little bit about it. It's confusing because it, it's called index.html and the CSS associated with main.css. And those are the, the standard names for 
these files, the, the, the main index page and your main CSS. It gets a little confusing and it's you can't close it, which is annoying about this software. Uh, but please ignore it, okay? Please ignore it. And the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to create a new file and you're going to save as, you do this right away, just give me a little second, and you're going to navigate to your web design folder, okay? Mine is be here, got all these folders on here, web design, okay? And we're going to call this index.html. Now the homework is going to ask you to do some specific kinds of coding. Uh, that is different than I'm going to do right now. Um, I'm just going to do something very to talk a little bit about the structure of an HTML page and, and get this file up online so you can see what happens. The standard structure for an HTML page looks like this. And this is going to be in the book um, and you'll be looking at that and reading that for homework as well. This is the standard structure for our HTML page, the standard skeleton. We open with uh, our HTML tags. We have the head area. And as we have talked about briefly, the, the head area, it contains info that does not display on the, on the web page. It does contain the title, which the title shows in the tab, browser tab. Okay. And then it has, we have the closing of the head, which indicates that the behind the scenes stuff is ending. And then we have our body. And this is where it contains the content of your page. All right. We close the body like that and we close the uh, HTML at the bottom. Now I want you to know this is our basic skeleton. All HTML pages, I don't care who you are and what you're coding, have this basic skeleton. HTML, head, title, and that, the body, and your closing HTML. Now I want you to notice how I have coded this and the indentations I'm using. This is a practice that is called clean coding. And clean coding is essential for coding uh, your pages. It makes the page easier to read. It makes it easier for you to go back and find errors. And it makes it easier for others to look at and learn from, which is important for us. And it makes it very easy for me to go in and help debug and fix errors that you have and see what you're doing. Uh, clean coding has indentations in terms of the tags that you're using. So we have hierarchies. These tags are inside of these tags and so on and so forth. It also has line spaces uh, that gives us a little bit of a, a white, white space in here. And this is another best practice uh, that I want you to adopt for your web, web work, okay, is use clean coding, okay? That helps with your organization and it will make your coding later on that much easier to uh, 
to go back and, and work within. Okay. At first, it looks like we don't have much on our pages, but our pages are going to become very, very long. Right. So here I have my basic skeleton. It's very exciting. I want to put something on my website. I'm going to use my P, and the P, as we recall, is for a paragraph. Um, this is, whoop, give me tight. This is my first web page. Oh, yay. Okay, and I am going to now save this. It's my index file. I'm going to file and I'm going to save. Okay. Now, if everything shows up properly, when I go to my website, and you always have to be thinking about this while you're coding, you have to try to envision what you're going to be seeing. Um, I know I want my paragraph. I think that, I'm sorry, what I'm going to see on my page is this sentence. I want that to appear. I also need to put a title in here, Bill Wolf's website. Or you can just write Bill Wolf, or your name, obviously. Um, save it. Again, I made that change, and you saw that I just saved. Great. So now, if we remember our process that we were using earlier, code, and I saved, so now I need to open up my file transfer protocol and upload. Okay, so let's go do that. So I'm going back to my FileZilla, and here it is. I'm going to refresh in here, and I now see my index file is right here. That's really exciting. Okay, it showed up where it's supposed to be. You will have to navigate to your web design folder uh, through the different spaces, um, however you're, you've organized your computer on, on your on your computer, you'll have to navigate to there. And now what I do is I take my index file and I drag it across, okay? Just like it said to do right here, I drag it across, and that is the uploading process. Drag it across, something happens, and it uploads, and now I see it in here just like we saw the public HTML show up on this side. And the next step is to go to Firefox Developer Edition and refresh. So I'm going to go to Firefox Developer Edition. Currently, my web page has the Reclaim Hosting default window, which is exactly what all of yours should be showing as well. I click Refresh. Now, it is very important to click the Refresh button and not just to go and click the URL again. Okay, that won't actually refresh the page. So I'm going to click Refresh, and there it is. Woo, let's make it big. Woo, there it is, 300%. This is my first web page. Very exciting. Um, and if I realize that I don't like the way that looks, or I want to add to it, I go back and I repeat this process. I code. Now I'm having sentence two. Boom. Booyah. Now what do I do? I save it. File save or just command S or I'll redo it. Save. Ref I'm going to refresh here because I like to do that. Upload. Okay. You're going to get a question here. Target file already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? Yes. Okay, because you're making changes to that file. You're going, to, you're going to overwrite that. I know it's a little scary to do it, but you're going to. All right. I've uploaded it. The new changes are there. I can verify that it's the same size. Very exciting. I go to Firefox Developer Edition. I click Refresh. And now I'm adding Sentence 2 is there. And it's like, yeah! I did it. If I had fireworks, I would show them on here. And I am done. Uh, now, for your homework, you're going to be asked to do some default coding from the book, and then starting to add some other things throughout the course of the week, okay? Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what your page uh, looks like. I recommend taking screenshots of your page at this early time, putting in your story of learning so that you have it uh, for you um, when you're going later on as evidence of where you started. Um, this is where all web pages start, okay? 
this is how my first web page started back when I, in 1998 when I started coding my web page. This is how all my students' web pages start. And they, students turn them into beautiful, beautiful things. I'm really looking forward to seeing you do the same thing uh, as well. Okay. Have a great day.